All right, sweet Gemini, let's start at the beginning. The ten. Tens are the completion of something. So um, usually uh, the ten of pentacles depicts family, home, projects at home, could be even moving to a new home, cleaning out closets, but it looks like projects are coming either to an end or um, you're beginning some, some things for home improvement or family improvement. Um, it may be gatherings of your family, but it's usually a joyful card and it usually means you've done a lot of hard work. And I know Gemini, you have been doing a lot of hard work emotionally and kind of breaking some family legacies, breaking some um, behaviors that aren't necessarily conducive to growth and change and positiveness. So it looks like you're going to be rewarded if you haven't already for taking the high road on many things and having the courage to walk through that fear uh, a couple of months ago and make those changes. So you're going to start reaping the benefits or the rewards of those changes that you've made. And it looks like family is calming down a little bit. So much more joyful time during spring, it feels like. The King of Cups. Now, the kings are exalted ones. Um, cups can be emotions, but this also can stand for a water sign male. Usually, uh, kings are over 30 um, or very wise beyond their years if they are under 30. Um, this feels more like an advisor, a mentor, a senior of some kind in your life. And that is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this looks like it's someone that um, you've been working with on and off. Um, and it can be within a personal realm as well as a business realm, realm. But it looks like some understanding has come to fruition by doing this work and making those changes and having your voice be heard in a compassionate, loving manner. It feels like this king has made some changes or some made some compromises for the better within your relationship. Uh, for many of you, it may be a boss because this is someone that is exalted, uh, someone that is more, feels like an advisor. Um, so, and it could have been emotional to begin with. Cups Cups kind of are taking the high road with your emotions and, you know, speaking from the heart, um, doing the right thing, saying things like this. So this feels like this person, um, things have ironed out with this person and you're able to compromise and you're able to be on the same page a little bit more. It did take some work. It took a lot of work, it feels like. And for many of you, it may be a senior member of your family that you haven't been getting along with or you don't see eye to eye, but there has been a compromise and an understanding that is happening right now. Uh, the three of um, chalices, the three of cups here, cups are emotion. This is Finding balance, uh, mind, body, and spirit. It also means really letting your guard down and enjoying yourself and not worrying so much. You um, have done a lot of the have-tos and have that due diligence and that pride of um, doing something right. And now you can kind of let your guard down, let your hair down, you know, um, go run in the forest, go sing on the beach, you know, uh, allow yourself to have a little bit more fun in your life. And it looks like you're making arrangements to do a little bit more fun things, not just the arduous tasks that are before you, but really connecting with the people of your heart that you can be completely you and um, really enjoy. It looks like the spring is going to be a much happier time for you. You've kind of stepped out of a funk that has been there off and on. So now it's time to celebrate a little bit and enjoy your friends and family. What is in the past or something that has just happened is the Ace of Cups and Ace Aces, I like to call the God cards or, or the spirit cards is when you have cleaned up some of the stuff that has been challenging for you and the path is a little brighter for you. Cups are emotions. Um, this can mean new beginnings in emotions. So Gemini, are you looking at a new love or um, made it better with, with the current love? But uh 
cups can definitely mean emotions and ace of cups is kind of when you're on the right path um, you've done the right thing you are reaping the benefits of some of the hard work and being rewarded so once again this is another reward card just as this was for doing the hard work so i commend you um, Gemini for doing that work, but it looks like you're starting to reap the benefits. Your heart is opening up a little bit more, so it can mean even um, deepening the interpersonal relationships that you have already. It could be with your children, your siblings, your partner, your parents, but your heart is opened up a little bit, so people are um, responding to that the softer side of you and um, it does feel like you are regaining some of your laughter and your smile again the hangman is a great card it's one of the um, major arcana and it is looks like part of that major shift that you had the hangman is it's doing life a little differently it's when You've changed your process a little bit. It's like playing checkers and you are the red men. And halfway through the game, you whip the board around and you are the black men. The game looks completely different to you, but it is the same game. So that is kind of what has happened in life. It feels like a lot of aha moments. You've lightened up a little bit. You've reprioritized what's really necessary and what really isn't. Maybe some of the stickler things. Um, that you had um, in your awareness, OCD things, if you will, um, you've kind of lightened up. You've lightened up on yourself. You've lightened up a lot in your world. So therefore, the people in your world are kind of responding in kind. The um, things are lightening up a little bit for you, Gemini, and smoothing out. But you've lightened up a lot. Things that were really important, you've you've reprioritized and realized. Well, that. It really isn't that important if it, this happens, but I would like to see this happen. So through all that hard work, you are starting to reap the benefits. And the hangman is just a validation that you are lightening up. You are looking at things a little differently and enjoying yourself a little bit more. Putting the pleasures in front of the pains. <laughs> now the emperor, also an exalted card. You have two kings here and an emperor. So taking the high road, speaking uh, your words of wisdom. It also looks like you may be mentoring someone as well. That may be something that's coming up into your awareness, either um, at work or home. could be home life as well as work life, but this feels like you are coming into your power. You are starting to gift back. Um, and for many of you, maybe not starting, but continuing. Um, just gifting back your, your love for... Uh, life, your certain knowledge about uh, specific things. Um, but I feel like you are able to give back. This is part of giving back um, all that you have received this lifetime. So um, now you are in a position of wisdom and you are in a position of exaltation. So um, using it wisely and respectfully which I know most Geminis really have a superpower conscious. So keeping that integrity, keeping um, the essence of it alive and holding morals while um, others may not, while others may not. But um, it feels like you'll be setting a good example for those that are coming after you. So the basis of all this is really finding your balance. This is the two, and it does look like you have really been looking at that for um, a number of years, putting it into play uh, over the last maybe even about 18 months, really starting to clean up uh, budget things, you know, um, communicate the things at work, communicate the things at home, make some of those changes, clean out some of those closets. You know, if you like to make those changes, just sometimes cleaning out a closet starts the ball rolling. But that is what's happening. It looks like you are successfully navigating these changes and you're finding your balance kind of in a, in a stormy sea. Sometimes you're able to um, be grounded and be a little bit more calmer than you have um, and really think things out and then put them into play. But it does feel like you are healing some emotional things that have been kind of nagging at you to change and you are making those changes and you're starting to see those benefits. So this is more the same of the balance and communication. 
the three here is above here. And also this uh, ship is kind of lighting up for me as well, which kind of waylays into these ships here. I think that you're either going to be by water, travel by water, move to some place by water, but usually these the three is you know relinquishing and letting go some things so you can um, create new things. It also means looking into the future, what you want to do, are you planning a little bit more? But this water and these ships are lighting up. So are you taking a cruise? Are you going to be near water? Are you just going on vacation on a lake? Something like that. But it looks like something in the future um, um, will involve. Um, visiting a large body of water, but it feels more like um, a vacay, a vacation versus a, you know, business trip or anything like that. But it looks like someplace to let your hair down and it's in the planning stages. It's not in the uh, beginning stages yet. You're still in the planning stages. Here is a king of, of pentacles. So, wow, you've got three kings here and the emperor. So there may be um, a situation where you have to hold your integrity um, pretty firmly, even if those in um, positions of authority are not. Um, the truth is the truth, no matter um, how it looks. <laughs> the truth is the truth. So I'm feeling this message is just hold your integrity, hold that mature maturity and um, authenticity. Um, and you are, Gemini, you are a very authentic, authentic sign. So it looked like while others are grappling with maybe taking the low road, you continue to take the high road. The King of Pentacles here um, also can stand for money. It can stand for um, getting a promotion or a change of uh, business, uh, change of jobs, uh, can't even be unilateral, but it's something that maybe is a little more challenging that gifts you a little bit more financially, but it will add a little bit onto your plate as well. But it feels like you're taking a step up, either a raise or a promotion or something like that, um, is coming towards you. The Queen of Cups here, this can be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Queen, usually someone over 30 or 40. Um, this can be very emotional for you. Um, and it's feeling like a visit from the past from a water sign woman, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, um, that it can bring um, a balance of emotions, uh, of a positive, what I mean is by a positive or negative emotions or both. So it can be something from the past and it feels like something that was within your grasp, but not really um, either on a relationship space. It wasn't really meant to be at the time. It could be a friend that you've been arguing with, but something from the past is coming back so you can heal it and bring it into the present time. It does feel like a positive um, interaction, um, but it can bring some sorrow. I'm not quite understanding what that means, but Spirit's pretty clear that it can bring some sorrow. But in general, you will be um, finding a way to enjoy each other in present time and accept the differences. So the King of Swords here, this does feel like it has something to do with this person from the past. There may have been a little staticky, little biting words. The sword sometimes can cut like a knife type of thing. So uh, watch your words as well. This can represent you, Gemini. This is an air sign, so Aquarius. Gemini or Libra, but this does feel like it represents you in this situation. And um, so watch your tongue a little bit. You can be a little biting. Um, there does feel like some static within communication that happened with this queen in the past. Um, but it does look like you would like to resolve this issue and it does look like so would she. So there will be a little bit of static. It may feel like um, assignment of blame for the beginning of it, but I, it really feels like it'll dissipate, it'll dilute, and the Wheel of Fortune is right here. So if you put positive in, you'll get rewarded 
from positive tenfold. If it's negative, it'll get rewarded from um, rewarded tenfold. But the Wheel of Fortune could go anyway, and it really depends on you. It is one of the higher higher cards in the Tarot, so most likely a positive outcome as long as you hold your integrity. Watch that biting tongue, Gemini. Um, but in general, this looks like a pretty good reading. I'm going to read the card underneath here. Moon. Okay, new beginnings. Letting go of some of those um, legacy things that don't matter um, can be very intrinsic. The moon is the our internal side. So um, spend some time figuring it out inside of you before you um, bring it forth into the, this plane, this plane. So, um, and, and I think that's what the biting words are about. Just make sure that you have it all worked out in your head, which you usually do. You usually do, but it does look like walking through a, a gate. So you are about to, uh, really incorporate these changes and make it a part of your everyday living. So that is a reading, sweet Gemini, for the month of March 2008. If you liked what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, let me throw a couple of these past life oracle cards. These are great. Okay, spouse. So you may be looking at either creating a relationship, cleaning up the current relationship, or even letting go of the one that you have that is not working for you. But there is a change coming in the heart space. And for those of you who have been closed off for a while, I think it's opening your heart again and allowing yourself to love. So knighthood, yes, take the high road when all else around you fall. So kind of like, um, it's just like taking the moral high ground. You know what is right and what is wrong. Um, and the knighthood sometimes... The knights kind of rush in and like to save damsels in distress. So make sure that you save yourself first before you start cleaning other people's messes up. You have made that shift already over the last couple of months. So it's more of the same, taking care of you, speaking your words of integrity. And it does look like some changes are coming in your relationship or heart space. 